this morning. We are eagerly counting down the hours to the return of the NAS Oceana Air Show. The popular event returns this weekend after a two year hiatus. And the two day event kicks off at 8 tomorrow morning and the flying starts around 10. 10 on your sides, Brett Hall. He's live in Virginia Beach this morning. He's got all the details. How you doing, Brett? Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Asia. And I actually really don't have all the details, but uh, Captain Steve Gennady, he does. He is. Thank you so much for being out here yeah, bright and early with morning. us. Good morning, Brad. How you doing? I'm doing all right. All now, right. he is the executive officer here, going to be the commanding officer next year. But let's get into what really everybody wants to see. Look at this patch right here. This guy, he, top gun for real, right? <laughs> That's right, Brad. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. But uh, really... It, it is the movie coming out. Do you feel that's going to bring more people out this weekend? Oh, absolutely. The Top Gun Maverick that, that came out a few months ago, a fantastic movie is going to really bring out the crowds. And I hope just like the original did in 1986, it's going to really cause a big uptick in recruiting and have, you know, strong men and women join our service. And, and if you did see the movie, a lot of, some of the aircraft are out here, right? Absolutely. We have uh, 16 squadrons of Super Hornets, F-18 Super Hornets that you see right here in the background. Uh, the exact same aircraft that was uh, starred in the movie uh, Top Gun Maverick and then the Blue Angels are flying this weekend. Yeah. Now, Rick, what, are we, what aircraft are we looking at right now? So this is the uh, F-18 uh, Super Hornet F and uh, same, uh, same aircraft again that was in the movie as, as well as the Blue Angels are flying this weekend. Uh, and we have uh, 14 fleet squadrons that uh, train and fly and uh, the men and women of the Navy that uh, maintain, load them, take care of them, repair them and get them uh, onto the aircraft carriers to deploy uh, worldwide. Yeah. What, what, what's your favorite part about all this? I have to ask. As a person that flies, is, it, is, it, is there some sort of, uh, I guess, really adrenaline rush when other people get to see it this close? Because usually you guys are way up there. It is. It is absolutely, to, to be able to uh, really show the performance of these aircraft right over the crowd, usually we do most of our training over uh, uh, target ranges over land and over the water, but to show everyone how everything is done and how the performance, the speed uh, right here over the crowd is fantastic. All right, now they'll be out here both days, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it all starts at uh, 8 a.m. Well, that's when the gates open. The flying starts at 10, but uh, you're going to want to remember you can bring uh, chairs, but you can't bring a lot of other things. You can, there's no weapons allowed on base. Uh, you're going to want to bring sunscreen. Uh, it's a lot of walking out here as well. Make sure you, you know that. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Captain, for being out I here this, with us this morning. Yes. And uh, they'll want to see you out here this weekend. Asia, Maddie.